Hello everyone. Children always keep in mind that consistency is essential. Nothing is achieved without it. Let us study cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the fluid between plasma membrane and nucleus. It is a moving sticky substance. Many cell organelles are suspended in cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the medium for cellular chemical reactions. The part of cytoplasm other than organelles is the cytosol. Cytosol stores vital substances like amino acids, glucose, vitamins, etc. In animal cells, cytoplasm is more granular and dense. While in plant cells, it is thin and mostly pushed to the periphery due to a large central vacuum. Children, in last video, uh, we have studied about cell wall and plasma membrane. Cell wall, uh, animal cell lacks cell wall, but cell wall is elastic and it is a strong coat around the cell membrane in case of plant cell, right? And plasma membrane is a thin, fragile, elastic covering that separates cell components from outer environment. Now, cytoplasm is the fluid between plasma membrane and nucleus. It is a jelly-like structure, jelly-like material which is present between the cell membrane and nucleus. That is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm without cell organelles is called cytosol. Means if cell organelles are taken out of the cell, means if cell organelles are not present in cytoplasm, then whatever uh, material is left, that is nothing but cytosol. Means cytoplasm without cell organelle is called cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, sorry, cytosol. Cytosol stores many vital constituents, very important constituents such as amino acids, glucose, vitamins. In animal cells, cytoplasm is more granular and dense. It is granular and dense in case of animal cell. And in plant cells, it is thin and it is pushed to periphery because there is a large central vacuole is present. What is the function of vacuole? It stores byproducts and end products of various metabolic activities. In plant cell, the vacuole is centrally located and it is very large. Therefore, cytoplasm is slightly, mostly pushed to the periphery of the cell. Clear? So, what are the important points to be kept in mind regarding cytoplasm? Cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance which is present between plasma membrane and nucleus. Many cell organelles and nucleus are present in cytoplasm. Cellular chemical reactions take place in cytoplasm. Mm. And uh, what is cytosol? Cytosol is the part of cytoplasm other than cell organelles. And what is the function of cytosol? It stores vital substances like amino acids, glucose, vitamins. Clear? These are the cells of onion. Nucleus is dense. Granular cytoplasm is present there. Vacuole is centrally located. Cytoplasm is thin and it is pushed towards the periphery. Cell organelles. An organelle is a spe specialized subunit having specific function within the cell. 
they are organs of the cell each organelle has its own lipoprotein membrane except nucleus and chloroplast all other organelles can be seen only with electron microscope cell organelles are the organs of the cell various organs are working in a specialized organ system in our human body similarly plants also have various cell organelles and they are the organs of the cell and each organelle has its own lipoprotein membrane except nucleus and chloroplast all other organelles can be seen only with electron microscope nucleus here an activity is mentioned take a drop of water on a clean glass slide using an ice cream spoon gently scrape the inner surface of your cheek with a needle transfer a little material from spoon to the water drop on the slide and spread it evenly put a drop of methylene blue stain on the smear put a cover slip and observe under microscope did you observe the cells with blue nucleus methylene blue is a stain and due to this stain the nucleus got blue color only uh, chick cells can be seen under microscope this is electron microscope and with the help of electron microscope cell organelles can be seen the dark round spot seen under the microscope while observing the onion peeling stained with iodine is the nucleus of the cell when observed under electron microscope we can see nucleus covered by double mem double layered membrane with small pores these pores allow the passage of material in and out of the nucleus nucleus has one round nucleolus and a network of chromatin fibers chromatin fibers are thin thread like structures which condense to form short thick chromosomes at the time of cell division functional segments on chromosomes are called genes nucleus is most important part of all eukaryotic cells very very important part present in eukaryotic cells inside the nucleus there is a round darkly stained nucleolus the nucleus is covered over by double membrane which is porous nucleus is surrounded by double layered membrane which is porous and these pores allow the transport of different substances in and out of the nucleus to cytoplasm nucleus is present in cytoplasm nucleus has a double membrane which is porous and through this pores transport of different substances in and out of the nucleus to cytoplasm takes place inside the nucleus is the chromatin network chromatin network is there which contains chromosomes and these chromatin fibers are very thin and they uh, condenses to form chromosomes Ah, and chromosome become clear and distinct at the time of cell division when cell divides chromatin uh, chromatin fibers they get condensed and chromosomes are very clear they become clear at the time of cell division means chromatin fiber condenses to uh, chromatin fibers condense uh, and they form chromosomes and these chromosomes they become very clear and distinct when the cell divides in every cell there are specific number of chromosomes in man number of chromosomes are 46 22 chromosome 22 uh, pairs are there autosomes and one pair is sex chromosome chromosome numbers 
is very specific in every cell. Gro chromosomes contain genes which are the carriers of hereditary characteristics. Hereditary characteristics are carried from parents to offspring. If the parents are heighted, then their children will also uh, possess great height. Means they are they they will also become tall. So hereditary characteristics are transferred from parents to offspring through genes, and genes are present on chromosome, or you can say functional segments on chromosomes are called genes. This is a diagram of nucleus. Nucleolus is there. Nucleus is most important part of the cell. Round darkly stained nucleolus is seen here. The nucleus is covered by a double membrane which is porous. Nuclear pores are there and this through these pores transport of transport of different substances in and out of the nucleus takes place. Nucleus is surrounded by nuclear membrane. Clear? You have to draw all these diagrams in your science copy. Functions of nucleus. It controls all metabolic activities of the cell and also the cell division. It is involved in the transmission of hereditary characteristics from parents to offspring.